Hey everyone, it's Tristan from Crafting Worlds, and today I wanted to talk to you about the fern. So this is the Hayworth fern behind me here. Um, I also have the Aeron, and I have a racing gaming chair from Main Gear that's discontinued, sadly. So I want to give you a little background onto why I'm on a chair hunt right now. If you're on a chair hunt, you've probably noticed three things. One, prices are astronomically high and do not represent the market. Two, what you're paying for is not necessarily what you're getting. And three, there are some major brands that are really prominent in the space. Hayworth, Herman Miller, and Steelcase. Those are the three top ones that I could think of and probably the Titan gaming series chairs. You know, since you can't go into a store now, you have to order it to your house, try it out, save the big box, and uh, yeah, and then return it if it doesn't work. So I wanted to talk about the Hayworth because I have, I have some problems. I watched a lot of reviews. I watched a lot of videos and nothing really told me what I actually experienced. I heard a lot of like, oh, the seat cushion is nice and it's solid and the build is good and the back is beautiful. And no one said the things that I experienced within the first 24 hours of getting it. So let me give you a little background. This is my Herman Miller. Um, I worked at Blizzard Entertainment for a while and I had this as my chair for my entire time there. And then when I left, I went and bought it again because I love it. I love the Aeron. I love the mesh. I love how cool it keeps me. Um, but what I didn't love was over time, um, my, my lower back has started to give me problems because I tend to sit like this. And the Herman Miller, because of the hard edges on the sides because it has to hold that mesh really tight uh, punishes you really bad for bad posture so unfortunately sitting like this uh, over time has started to make my back hurt so i wanted something that was a little more cushy now in come the main gear chair and i've put a lot of hours into this thing the seat is absolutely worn out it is still soft i took the armrests off because they were terrible but yeah, this thing, is, uh, this thing is a monster and it's not a great chair, but I was using it more than my $1,500 Aeron chair or $1,200, mind you, because I bought it before prices started to skyrocket. That's, um, we'll get there. Anyway, this chair has been great to me. And by the way, I have no shoes on, on purpose because a lot of people, when they're in their own home office, they don't wear shoes. And so like, I wanted to really show the, the crossing and like where your foot lands. So like if I'm, on the, if I'm on the Herman Miller and I cross, I'm on, you know, I'm on the, uh, the hard edges and nobody wants that. So I started to look for different chairs after a lot of research, which I'm sure all of you have done is a lot of research. Uh, I landed on the Hayworth Fern because I thought it looked nice. Um, it, they said it was very close to the steel case leap. Um, and so I was like, okay, that sounds good. The price, the price. Can we talk about this for a second? No one's talking about this. They're just like, oh yeah, the price makes sense because it's a high-end chair. No, it doesn't. If you went back three years, the price of this chair, no changes whatsoever, no difference whatsoever. Um, the price of this configured chair would have been around $600 to $700. Now, fast forward to today, three, three years later, and it's $1,600. But they didn't change anything. And the market is worse. And yeah. I'm sorry, but a lot of these companies are taking advantage of their situation and they're jacking prices up for no good reason. Like the Herman Miller and Body, which I wanted to try. However, it used to be $800 and now it's $2,000. Come on, Herman Miller. Like I bought this fully decked out Herman Miller Aeron for $1,200. It, it's just, it's kind of, it's kind of despicable what these companies are doing. So. That's the first thing people are not telling you is that the price you're paying for these chairs is not representative of the quality you're getting. This is like a $600 chair essentially. And so you're gonna get a $600 chair, but you're gonna be paying 
fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars or more, depending on how you spec it out. And that's unfortunate. So when I got this chair as a fifteen, sixteen hundred dollar chair, I expected more. And here's the issues that I'm having, and I'm just not I'm not hearing anyone talk about this. So Let's break it down into the first thing that I noticed. The first thing that I noticed when I sat in this chair, I adjusted the arms. What the hell? What is this? What is this? There is so much give in these. When you put your, your arms on it, your arms are like blah, blah, blah. This is unacceptable for a chair like this. Absolutely unacceptable. Does it does it have the four-way slide and is the slide nice? Does it kind of lock? Sure, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna move, but Then you get it to there where you want it And it's just it's just jiggling What the hell my my main gear racer chair that was 200 bucks No jiggle in the arms. It was solid as a tank So that was really upsetting actually that was probably when I was like, oh, no then the cushion of these pads compared to my Herman Miller. Oh my God, this is so uncomfortable. I don't know how this is acceptable. You're paying $1,500, $1,600, $1,700, $1,800 $1, and you're not getting quality. And I don't know why people are not, why, why, are, why are you okay with this? The marketing is really good at Fern, I think. I think that's just what it comes down to. So the second thing that happened was I adjusted the, uh, the lock tilt mechanism so that when I lean back, it would either let me go all the way back or it would stop me. And the first time I did it, 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 got, it came loose and I went back and it like actually disengaged. So it has really awkward uh, engagement mechanisms, which sucks. The other thing that got me immediately was why do I feel like I'm falling off this chair? Like literally sliding forward and I couldn't understand it. Now, I do have the one that lets me slide it forward and go up a little bit if I want it to be in the, you know, this perch position, which I actually like this. This is very cool. Um, that's the one thing that this chair has that's nice, the perch position. However, when you bring it back, it's still kind of perched. So I know that's good for here, However, because the seat is so small, and in order to get it larger, why are all chair reviewers like five, six, or, or shorter, and, and just, I don't understand it. I'm 5'10", I'm about 180 pounds, and I've got a lot of muscle up here. So, I mean, there's, there's some stuff here too, but hey, it ain't muscle all the time. But like, where, where, are, all the, where are all the normal human beings that are reviewing chairs that like average, I don't know. I'm I'm really I'm really I'm really frustrated because this chair now when you pull it out it has it feels better but you lose all of the back lumbar support it's just gone it's just completely gone and you have a pocket here like a weird pocket you're sitting in the pocket it it doesn't make any sense why 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 do you why do you make it so the chair comes out so far that you're now sitting in the pocket so in order to make it comfortable, you have to pull it out, but then it makes it uncomfortable and you lose all lumbar support. Also the lumbar support in this chair, see where this, see where this is? This doesn't make any sense. I don't, I don't know what size human this was made for, but what it's doing, you want lumbar support to be here in your lumbar above your belt. However, what it's doing is it's going into the butt those like two little dimple areas, the bone, you don't want it on the bone. You want it above just a little bit on the belt. And it's, so it's not giving you proper lumbar support, even with the chair out or the chair in. And yeah, it's just too low. And there's no way to adjust that. It's literally built into the chair, that, that position. I do have the lumbar support with this. People are correct. It is super aggressive. Um, and it almost, I'm telling you, it almost feels like you're being pushed out of the chair. So I'm often being like this. And I'm like, what the hell? So I, I, I just wanted to show this because um, as you can see, I've been editing and I've been sitting in the fern just to confirm my thoughts. And look, look at where I am. Look at my shoulder. I don't know what's going on, but I end up on the left side of this, like leaned over. 
And my left leg seems to go numb after a little bit of sitting in this. I didn't mention it yet. And I, I feel like I needed to say that because my left leg is just is just super numb from it. And I don't understand. So also what you can see here, if I if I could show if I can show it is um when I'm when I'm editing, this is what's this is what's happening. It's making me arch. Like it's making my my front arch versus like back because back is is almost uh, that's not natural like that right there is natural but then you're not touching that pad it's the curvature is not human <laughs> i don't understand this chair i'm literally like this and like over to the side and i do, i just is it a me problem maybe should my leg be going numb i don't think so i i just don't i'm sliding off the chair i'm fall it's pushing me forward it's not it's not me, it's gotta be the chair. Like when I sit in the Herman Miller, okay? Watch, ah, oh, it just, it eats, it just, oh, it puts everything in the right place. It puts the lumbar support right in the lower part of the back. And it's, it's perfect. This is the, this is the ergonomic chair of the world, however, it is the most punishing ergonomic chair. It is like you must work in an ergonomic position or you don't do it comfortably. And that's it. So if you want the most ergonomic chair, it's the Aaron Miller. That's my honest opinion of it. Has the best, it has the best cushion seats. You can get a little headrest from it from Atlas, you know, headlip rest. And it's just, it's cooling because it's just mesh and it just feels good on the butt. However, if you're like me and you started to get a little bit of back pain from workouts and stuff like that over time, the hardness of the mesh and the plastic, it starts to really just not be right. And that's why I ended up on the gaming chair because it was softer and so I could sit on it, you know, in any position and it was just cushier. And I never felt like I was bottoming out. So let's get to the last thing that no one seems to be talking about. They, this is, this is what I see on most reviews. Yep, so the cushion is uh, firm, but uh, yeah, no, but it's nice and it's soft, yeah. The cushion is like this thin, okay? The minute you sit on it, after 10, 10 minutes, maybe less, you're like, is that the base? Am I sitting on the base? And it, it literally feels like you've bottomed out immediately. And I'm not, I'm not that heavy. I'm 5'10", 180, that's pretty average. That's exactly where I need to be. Like, what? I don't know, man. So you've got that. You've got this weird back that isn't lumbar. You have the, oh, the mesh knit. Everybody's like, oh my God, get this, get this, get this digital knit mesh. This digital knit mesh back is amazing. It's so soft and comfortable. It's also very scratchy. It also grabs your shirt and pulls it up from the bottom. If you try to get into a position to like, try to get that lumbar up into your lumbar area. <laughs> I'm telling you, there are so many things about this chair that are not even worth $400. And the price, the price is really what makes it not, like if this was a $200 chair, I'd be like, all right, I'll deal with the shortcomings, maybe. But no, this is not, this is not the quality that they say it is. Now I can do this, which is great. Okay, I mean, wonderful. So I can sit improperly in the chair, but when I want to sit properly, it's uncomfortable. It's, I don't know, man. Like there's just not enough reviews talking about how this chair is literal trash. It is literal trash. And I know there's gonna be people in the comments that are like, it's not trash, dude. It's, it's just your body. And, and that's very possible, but I really think for what you're paying, especially considering this chair three years ago was like 600, 700 bucks, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 2,000 you can get up to on this chair. It, it, it's nuts and no headrest. And it's just, I don't know. It's not, it's not for me. So this one's going back. My butt will thank me. Like it is so uncomfortable. When I go and sit on the, on the gaming chair again, I just get so happy because it just feels nice. Like it's just soft. And then when I sit in the Herman Miller Aeron, like I just feel so ergonomically coddled. Um, I don't know. The next, the next, the next thing I'm gonna try is the steel case 
V2 from Crandall because they have a bigger cushion and they changed out the pads and it just seems like a it seems like a good chair overall and then if if I like it I'm going to install a headrest but um yeah and that that when it's refurbished like that is 600 bucks which I think that's way more appropriate for these kinds of chairs like the fact that I paid so much for the Herman Miller Aeron back when, even 1200 back then, and now it's like 1800 if you fully deck it out. Um, that was that was a lot, but it really has lasted me forever, and that's that's what I like about it. And the and I've had things replaced because they have an amazing warranty, and they send people out to help fix it. And it's just it's a great company in that regards. Their prices though, like for the Embody, are just getting crazy, like 2000 bucks just for a I don't know. So yeah, I'm on the journey. This is not the last video. This is the first video of probably many. Um, maybe I'll even make a video about why I like the Herman Miller Aeron and I'll talk about the gaming chair. Although I do have a video on the gaming chair where I actually liked it more than the Herman Miller. And the reason was because I sit like this. I really like to sit like this. I like to get comfortable sometimes. I'm not always in an er ergonomic position and I think many people will relate to that. So um, yeah, this this is not forgiving. <laughs> it punishes the crap out of you and that can take a toll on your back after time. So yeah, this is this is hot. The, 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 the digital mesh is hot. It is uncomfortable. It feels strange. I don't feel like I have support on my back. I feel like I'm leaning a lot. Like I end up on one side or the other. Like there's just not enough. And then the lumbar is pushing me out. The seat is too, too shallow. I feel like I'm falling off the thing. It feels like it's on a slope. This is absolutely unacceptable for a chair in this price range. Come on, you guys know this exists. You know this is a problem and you haven't fixed it, but you keep upping your price. That's bull. It's absolute bull. So, oh, and then the fact that the locking mechanism doesn't lock every time. It just gets, it just releases and you're like, whoa, and you fall backwards. So that's, that's real fun. Um, anyway, look, I can go on a rant for, for hours on this chair about how it, I just don't think that people are talking about it properly in reviews and I think it's a piece of crap. But I'm gonna leave it at what I said, and I hope that this has been helpful. Um, if you enjoyed it, subscribe, like. If you didn't, dislike. Anyway, leave a comment in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts, because I'm sure, oh look, all chairs are subjective, right? But for the money you're paying, do you really think that this is okay? Do you really think that like the lumbar being in your butt bone, in your tailbone is okay? Do you really think that like, having a very unadjustable lumbar support in the back is okay? Do you think that like having a digital knit back that grabs your shirt and like hitches it so like you're, it's raising it up your back while you're sitting is okay? I, I don't think any of that's okay. I don't, I don't. Um, and then the seat bottoming out feel, oh, that's frustrating. That's really frustrating. Like I want a seat that's comfortable. I. I love the gaming chair, but it's just, it's so bad for me. I just, I need something that has the comfort of the gaming chair seat with the ergonomics of the Aeron. And so I'm hoping that maybe the Steelcase Leap version two from Crandall will do that because of the modifications they made. Stay tuned, I'll let you know.